In recent years, my body fat percentage has been all over the place, and I've measured it in a variety of ways. Skin fold calipers, bioelectrical impedance analysis, DEXA scans, the lot. So, as I'm currently trying to lower my body fat, I know exactly the best way to track my progress. And it's none of those. I'm using a mirror, because I have never, ever got the results from an actual body fat percentage test, and then made an alteration to anything I do as a result. Now, as always, this is just about what I do. So if you do measure your body fat percentage and find it motivational or beneficial, keep doing it. If you read your horoscope and find that helps you exercise with more enthusiasm too, great, do that as well. Scorpio, sexiest star sign. But for me, it's pointless for a bunch of reasons. Body fat testing, not horoscopes, Scorpio stuff is spot on. Firstly, let's assume the data was important to have. It's just ridiculously hard to get accurate numbers anyway. Skin fold measurements are notoriously hard to do with any consistency, especially at higher body fat levels. Bioelectrical impedance analysis is not much better and affected by all sorts of variables beyond body fat. And even DEXA, the gold standard. I've had DEXA scans at different locations with hardly any time gap between them and got hugely different results. So at best, you might be looking at being able to get a measure of progression, so is your body fat level going up or down? But for the actual number itself being correct, good luck. And even if the number was accurate, if it was as simple to obtain your accurate body fat percentage as it is your blood pressure or something, what are you going to do with that number? Who is exercising or dieting with a specific number in mind? Why would you want to do that? Even in the world of bodybuilding, where the obsession with body fat percentage is about as extreme as it gets, nobody is judged on a number, which is probably no bad thing, because even some of the greatest bodybuilders ever haven't got a clue what their number actually was. What percent body fat? I was 0.33. You weren't. So it just isn't like your blood pressure, something that you don't know unless you do measure it. And so getting an unexpected result could actually be something that motivates someone's behavior afterwards. I've been 100 pounds overweight, and I've measured my body fat percentage in various ways at that point. And looking back at the times I did those tests, at no time did I think, oh, I wonder if the result will be high. I would like you to crunch those numbers again. I was 100 pounds overweight. Crunch. So this is my experience of assessing body fat in a way that actually made a difference to me. When I looked like this, having been 100 pounds heavier a few years before, I felt my body fat percentage was about right in this photo. I can tell that because I took the photograph of myself here with my shirt off and was happy and didn't immediately delete it. A couple of years later, I put a lot of weight back on and here I am looking in the mirror and assessing my body fat now as too high. You might think, ah, oh, but you took a photograph with your shirt off and didn't delete it. Correct, but I was sad. Last year, I looked like this, body fat percentage about right, happy. Currently, look like this, body fat percentage a bit too high, a bit sad. The running theme here is that I looked at myself in a mirror and knew everything there was to know. And I should add, when I use terms like happy and sad, those are emotions whose levels I do not allow to become exaggerated purely as a result of how fat I am. These things are all relative. I am currently sad that I'm as fat as I currently am, but I'm also sad that it's still weeks away before I get to see the new Fall Guy movie. Engage your core. Now let's for a minute imagine that I had also known exactly what my body fat percentage number was at each of those previous times. Let's say here it had been accurately checked at 20%. Sounds a bit high, but I'm perfectly happy with how I look and feel, so I would have done nothing different to what I did at that time, which was carry on as I was. Jump forward to here, if it was 15%, so what? I'm unhappy with how I look and feel, so would be dropping body fat anyway to return to here. What was my level there? I don't have a number for it, but I call it half naked on YouTube and not worried that my kids will get bullied at school. They will get bullied, but they won't be told their dad is fat. Now, I do understand some people will say, ah, but there are those suffering from body dysmorphia who will think that they look fat despite not being fat, and so getting a body fat percentage score might help them to realize they do not need to lose further weight. Well, firstly, the number of people pointlessly getting their body fat measured when simply jumping up and down in front of the mirror would tell them all they need to know is huge. That is a far bigger group than those with body dysmorphia only because they failed to get a DEXA scan. 
And secondly, if you think of somebody with body dysmorphia, being presented with a body fat percentage result would be snapped out of how they perceive themselves, you may be underestimating quite how powerful that mental condition is. Also, given the amount of nonsense on the internet about body fat percentage levels, they probably convinced themselves they were still too high, even if given a really low number. 0.33, like what? The reality is there is a massive industry built around providing people with dubiously accurate information that people lap up because it makes them feel like they are doing something without having to actually do something. So rather than looking in the mirror and deciding to wind back on the donuts, people will book themselves a DEXA scan. Rather than going to bed at a sensible time, people will strap on a whoop strap to gather nocturnal data that they can then study on their iPhone, probably in bed at half 11 at night. Or the latest one, plug a continuous glucose monitor into yourself in order to be presented with a graph showing that eating three bowls of cocoa pots with added chocolate chips alters your glucose levels. Now again, if you measure any of these metrics and find it does then translate into positive actions, great to hear. But it would seem unlikely that you are the majority because the majority are less fit, more fat and sicker than ever before, but the abundance of devices to measure the ways in which you are causing yourself to be all those things has never been higher. If getting accurate measurements regarding what a mess we are in was the solution to the mess we're in, the people selling devices to get accurate measurements would have no one left to sell them to. And trust me, they are not struggling to sell them. So to all the people asking what body fat percentage did I get up to as a result of my Christmas indulgence, the level was a bit too high. And as for what level I'm going to drop down to, the level will be just about right. I'll be monitoring my progress with a mirror and regular photographs taken in the same lighting conditions in the same spot in my house every couple of days because something that is hard to judge with your eyes in the moment is your progression day to day. And then just to be absolutely sure, I'll be monitoring the behavior of my wife. As soon as she stops hiding the chocolate chips, I'll assume I'm probably getting close to where I wanna be. In case you're wondering, is there reason you don't just ask her because she'll be too kind and tell me I look fine just the way I am? No, she'd be honest, and I'm already sad enough looking like this. 